Hello Hookah.org, Paul here with another video review. This one is for some charcoal actually. It's been a while since I've done a charcoal review, but this is the Cocoa Buzz 2.0. Uh, now, I never dealt with the original Cocoa Buzz, so I'm really not sure what the differences are going to be, and I'm going to give you kind of a dry run review on this, uh, this particular uh, iteration, I guess. Uh, now, the first thing that I noticed, let's just pull a couple out here, is that they're pretty hefty. Um, I have some Cocoa Mazayas here for comparison, and I'm going to zoom in, Whoop. and hopefully you can see these guys are quite a bit larger. Uh, this isn't just me uh, not being able to tell the difference, and it's not just a slight difference, which I'm going to pull out the scale to show you how big of a difference there really is. Um, now, I'm going to just drop a Coco Mazaya on here. 9 grams. That's about what I found. I, I actually have measured out the average of these boxes and the Coco Mazaya's average about 9.5. They vary back and forth between 9 grams and 10 grams, so 9.5 average. Now, <laughs> let's see, 12 grams for this oddly shaped piece of uh, Coco Buzz. I think this is another one. No, oh, 10 grams. That might have been one of the Coco Mazaya's. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a Coco Mosiah, because this is the, uh, yeah, that's the Coco Buzz. These are very large. Um, the size and the shape are a little bit more irregular than with Coco Mosiahs I have found, uh, where pretty much everything I measured from Coco Mosiah was 9 or 10 grams. These things varied between... 13 to 16 grams, which really isn't going to make a huge difference, but it is something to just take note of. Um, now, I'm actually going to throw these on the stove, light them up, see how long it takes to light, and then I'm going to put them on a bowl and see how long they burn. All right. Um, I've been smoking these for a while now, and the... Uh the heat's going really well. These are large coals, so you want to be careful. I actually would probably use um, only two of these on your average bowl. Never ever go up to a third, I'd say, um, because I'm getting a little bit of uh, what I would consider overheating, uh, though this is on a, uh, let's see, a Crown Classic Mini from forever ago, so two is probably actually too much heat, but you know what? It's doing okay. It's moderate. Um, I really wish that I had a contact or even a um, like a, an infrared thermometer so I could tell you how hot these were actually burning in comparison to other coals, but they seemed fine. Um, yeah, uh, it took me about 13 minutes to light these from beginning to end on my gas range. You might find them to be a little bit faster on like a, a, a coil burner, um, but they're pretty much in line with what I expected. A little longer than Coconars, a little longer than Coco Mazayas, because they are larger, so they have more surface area to heat up. Um, but that's about it. So far, they're doing really well. I'll come back at the end of this bowl and let you know how long they've been smoking. Okay, I am back after about an hour and a half, and uh, the coals still have some size to them. I'm going to try and pull one out and show it to you without burning my house down. Um, but I think my tobacco might be tapped out. Um, an hour and a half is pretty good for some coconut charcoal. Um, all in all, I find these uh, coals to be pretty good. The, the only, I guess, issue with them is the fact that um, they are a bit larger, so you're getting a little bit less per kilo. I haven't actually counted out the box yet, but I'll, uh, I'll do that in the future. Um, I just opened it today, uh, and I've just been smoking with them now. But, you know what? I like them. I like them pretty well. i got to check out the prices and see how they compare to Coco Mazayas and Coco Naras. But, you know what? They're a pretty good option. Um, Coco Ultimates are still a pretty amazing option. And they actually have something in common with this, uh, this charcoal. Um, because they have a bit of a campfire smell. There's, uh, when lighting, there is definitely a bit of a burning wood kind of campfire smell. So if that really puts you off, be aware that that's how... That's something you're going to expect with these, uh, these coals. Um, yeah, so you know what, I'll give you a shot, hopefully, of the coal. I mean, after an hour and a half 
Like this is still, I don't know if that's focusing in, but like this is still a good sized charcoal, which is why I think my tobacco might just be tapped out. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, let me get that out of your way. Um, yeah, this is my first experience with Cocoa Buzz 2.0, the new iteration of the Cocoa Buzz Star Buzz cho charcoals, and uh, I'm pretty happy with them, so check them out. Uh, that's about it. Thank you very much for joining us. Please go down below, like, and subscribe. Give us that wonderful thumbs up. It helps us out quite a bit. Uh, and make sure to check out the forums at hookah.org. Once again, this is Paul saying thank you very much, and happy smoking. It's dead.